welcome to Grab and Go Info. In data science interviews, encountering a dip in a key metric is a common scenario that can test your problem-solving skills. Today, we're going to explore a systematic framework that will empower you to investigate and understand the underlying causes behind such dips in critical metrics. So tighten your seatbelts as we embark on a journey to unlock the secrets hidden within the data. Step 1. Ask clarifying questions. Before diving into the investigation, it's crucial to gather all the necessary details. Ask clarifying questions to gain a comprehensive understanding of the metric's definition, time period, and scope. For instance, what does the metric represent? Is it reported in dollars or quantities? How frequently is it calculated? Does it encompass the entire company or a specific region? Step 2. Narrow down the possible causes. Armed with the essential information, it's time to narrow down the potential causes for the dip in your key metric. Consider the following factors. 1. Normal noise or seasonality. Could the dip be a result of natural fluctuations or a seasonal pattern inherent to the business? 2. External causes. Explore the influence of external factors such as natural disasters, special events, or shifts in competitor strategy. These factors can potentially significantly impact your metrics. 3. Internal causes, bugs in code, data source quality issues, or the introduction of a new product or feature might have unforeseen consequences on the metric. 4. Customer behavior change. Analyze whether the dip correlates with any changes in customer preferences or behavior. Understanding shifts in user patterns is key to unraveling the mystery. Step 3. Investigate the cause. To get to the heart of the matter, follow these investigative steps. 1. Examine the metric equation. Scrutinize the equation governing the metric to identify contributing factors. For example, if sales revenue dipped, investigate whether the decrease is due to a drop in price or quantity. 2. Segment your customers. Divide your customer base into meaningful segments based on various factors such as new versus existing customers, device type, language, or demographics. This segmentation helps pinpoint if the dip is specific to certain segments. Shedding light on potential causes. Step 4. Summarize the investigation. Having completed a thorough investigation, it's time to summarize your findings and provide actionable insights. 1. Primary cause. Identify and elucidate the primary cause of the dip in the key metric. Is it due to normal noise, an external event, an internal issue, or a shift in customer behavior? Clearly articulate the underlying reasons. 2. Recommendations. Offer concrete recommendations for addressing the issue and improving the metric, whether it involves bug fixes, data source refinement, marketing adjustments, or product enhancements. Provide actionable steps that can be taken to mitigate the dip. 3. Future monitoring. Emphasize the importance of ongoing monitoring to detect similar occurrences in the future. Suggest implementing robust monitoring mechanisms to proactively identify fluctuations and promptly take corrective action. As you navigate the challenges of a data science interview, demonstrating your ability to investigate a dip in a key metric is a testament to your analytical acumen. By employing a structured approach, including asking clarifying questions, narrowing down potential causes, conducting thorough investigations, and summarizing your findings, you showcase your problem-solving abilities and data-driven mindset. Remember to provide actionable recommendations for addressing the issue, emphasize the importance of ongoing monitoring, and highlight the value of data-driven decision-making. With these skills in your arsenal, you're well-equipped to excel in data science interviews and make a positive impact on any organization's analytics endeavors. If you have made it this far, you probably find the information in this tutorial helpful. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos like this. To learn more about data science interviews, please click the YouTube playlist on the screen now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.